Hey everybody, CW here, Card Wolf, because I am always on the hunt for great cards. Today it is Pack Battle Day. That's right, every Wednesday, Average Joe and I throw it down in a manly way as we battle over trading cards. That's right. We both open the same product, in this case a 2023 blaster box of Chronicles Baseball, and you, the viewer, get to check out Average Joe's video and my video, and then let us know in the comments who you think pulled the best cards, and uh, that person is the winner of the week's pack battle. We do it every Wednesday, and it's a lot of fun, and uh, everybody gets a, a lot of fun out of it. I certainly do. Today, it is the classic battle of He-Man versus Skeletor. That's right. Of course, Joe is He-Man, because that is exactly what Joe looks like. If anything, uh, Average Joe, who is not average in any way, if anything, Average Joe's physique looks even better than that, and I will be uh, Skeletor. Uh, I don't really look like Skeletor, though I do wear similar clothing. I'm, I'm wearing something very similar to that right now, and I always keep my uh, my staff at hand. So Skeletor and uh, He-Man will represent Average Joe and I in this battle today. We do it up every Wednesday this way, and uh, we're going to get into this and find out what we get. It's five cards per pack, six packs per box, so that's like 560 cards. We'll be here a while. We should find three Blaster Exclusive Revolution inserts. That I don't know what those look like, but we're going to find out together. We can also look for a retail exclusive Black Finite Parallel numbered to one, so that makes it sound like those are one of ones and probably impossible to get variety of prospects and legends um, because of Panini's uh, legal issues with various uh, players unions and licensing and, and all of that nonsense fanatics is basically trying to push them out of business uh, Panini can only put into this product veteran players such as Mickey Mantle who have retired and might be in the Hall of Fame and prospects who are not in their major league uniforms, but uh, so pre-rookie cards, in other words. And so that's mostly what we're going to get out of here. We opened a mega box of this on the channel a little while ago, like a month or so ago. And uh, we did have a couple of actual, uh, you know, modern rostered players in there. So I think maybe they have separate agreements with certain players. I'm, I'm not really not sure how all of that works. But uh, in any event, uh, that's what we can look forward to out of this box, get Mr. Kershaw to help me uh, open this. That's where the seam is, I think. Yeah, there it is. And uh, we will get into these packs. As always, practice good knife safety and keep those blades out of the reach of small children and undead evildoers. Definitely don't want to... They're fine with staffs, but they're not fine with any sort of uh, bladed instrument of any kind. So let's see what we have in here. It is clearly a Panini product. They don't want us to forget that, no sir. And uh, there are our five packs and our empty box. There was a lot of room in there. They could have put any number of things in there, but uh, instead they just fill it with air. We got six packs, so it's six packs and five cards each. And this one, this one feels like it's, I don't know, this one feels weird. Like it has uh, almost no cards in it. Honestly, it feels like there's like two cards in there or something. The rest of these feel like they have the proper amount of uh, cards in there. So I'm just going to put those over there. Put He-Man and Skeletor back here. And uh, open this weird, weirdly light feeling pack. So I feel like this one, I don't know. We may, may not get our money's worth out of this one. Or maybe something weird is going on here. I don't know what's going on. But anyway, Yogi Berra starts this pack off. And uh, there are several different designs. That's the best thing about Chronicles is there are a lot of different designs, which I really like about Chronicles Baseball and Football. They really do a nice job with these. Nice Yogi Berra card. I'll show you the backs of these, too, so you can check that out. Very sort of uh, retro feel to the back and to the front. Yogi Berra starts things off. Justin Campbell from uh, the Guardians, but as you can see, not in the Major League uniform because Panini doesn't have the licensing rights for that. Rookie card of Owen White from Texas, and then we got a backwards card and an acetate card, so that's probably maybe why it felt lighter. The Revolution uh, inserts that we were promised on the box, this is the first one, it's Jose Canseco, and those are really pretty cards. That's a really pretty card. I, I do not, 
I do not think I've seen these before, and that's uh, quite nice. I will be happy to get two more of these. We were promised three, so uh, hopefully the other two will be players I collect. I don't collect Canseco, but that's a pretty card. And then our Acetate card, and I hope we get more Acetates out of here too, is Oscar Colas, which is a nice rated rookie Acetate on the Donruss Clearly brand. Uh, that's a really nice card, actually, and uh, he's a pretty good player as well, so that's that's a nice pull. That was a good first pack. I have no complaints about that. Average Joe, of course, will pull three autographs and several numbered cards, and, you know, that's just how he rolls. Average Joe, he's operating on a higher plane, I think we can all agree. Average Joe just seems to, I don't know, he, he really uh, does quite well in our battles. So we got uh, Ivan Melendez here from the D-backs, and again, this is a, I believe this is a pre-rookie card, so... Uh, he has not actually been on their roster, as far as I know. Jet Williams from uh, the Yankees, I think. Assume that's Yankees, or maybe it's Mets. I'm not really sure, but anyway. Jet Williams, who causes chaos on the bases, if we are to believe the blurb on the back. So that's pretty exciting. Jimmy Rollins from Philadelphia. Nice color match to the uh, Phillies uniform there. Pretty sweet. We got uh, Mason Auer, or Auer. Uh, get him in focus for you there. Sorry about that. Mason Auer, I think is how that's pronounced, from Tampa Bay. A pretty card there. And we got a backwards card, which is David Cohn on the Elite card brand template there. A pretty card, certainly. I like all the sort of dark blue shading there. That's pretty nice. David Cohn, very good pitcher for the Yankees for several years. Go to our third pack now. So we can pull another one of those Revolution uh, foil cards. Those are really quite nice cards. So I, I'm looking forward to the other ones from that. Ben Sheets. Sorry about that battery issue there. The battery died and so I've swapped in the uh, fully charged one. But uh, anyway, we'll get back to this pack. It's Ben Sheets starting this pack off. And uh, Get that in focus for you as well. There we go. That is on the Limited. I don't know if you can see the brand there, but the Limited, and that's the back of that particular type of card. Richie Ashburn, it seems like a lot of the Hall of Famers are in this Classics sort of uh, template branding sort of thing that they're doing. And then we got uh, Carson Williams from the Rays and more backwards stuff. Uh, let's see what all this is about. We got Jackson Joby. I assume that's how you pronounce his last name. He's a player I'm not uh, familiar with. I don't think I've heard of this guy before. He's uh, from the uh, Tigers, and that's a really pretty card. It's got the E there, so I assume this is part of the Elite uh, branding that they're doing. It's also very thick. I don't know if you can see that, but uh, it says Chronicles Essentials Baseball. That's what that E stands for, and you can see how thick that card is, so that's pretty cool. So I'll put that over here. And then uh, Pete Hansen from the Cardinals is our next Revolution card, and it looks like they use different colors for that. I thought the colors must all be sort of black and silver, but there is green on the Canseco, green and gold sort of, and this one has more of a Cardinals type of color scheme to it with all the red. So uh, that's pretty cool. Those are really pretty cards. I like those Revolution inserts quite a lot. We should get one more out of uh, these packs. See how we do there. So far, as far as I know anyway, no numbered cards, no uh, nothing uh, super special like that. William Kempner, make sure I pronounce that right and get that in focus for you so you can see William Kempner. And boy, he has quite a, it looks like he's in some sort of severe pain as he's pitching that ball. I don't know, uh, maybe that's just his uh, regular pitching face? I'm not sure, but he looks like he's really having a, a hard time there. I'm not sure if he has some sort of a headache or maybe a groin injury. I don't know what's going on there. We got Jackson Ferris from Chicago. I assume that is the Cubs and not the White Sox. Then uh, David McCabe from the Braves there. And those are really pretty cards. These are luminance, and they're always really quite uh, attractive cards, in my opinion. I think those are really quite nice. really like the uh, full bleed aspect of that and the very simple sort of... Uh, template for that. They don't try to add too many words and whatnot to the front. Chase Meadroth, another prospect card there from 
the Red Sox, and Andre Dawson is on a Crusade card here. That's a pretty nice one. I like that one a lot. Very cool, Andre Dawson. I've been pulling a lot of Andre Dawson cards lately, actually, so very neat to get that one with uh, the Expos and not the Cubs, so earlier in his career. I think I'll put that uh, up there. We get to our penultimate pack, second to last pack here. If you're enjoying the video, I hope you'll take a moment to hit the like button. It makes a big difference to the channel, and I certainly appreciate it a lot. Just hit that like button right now and uh, get that out of the way. It certainly helps me out. Start off this pack with one of uh, the game's legends. It's Paul Wehner. Uh, Paul Wehner, I'm trying to remember. Yeah, I think Paul Wehner was Big Poison and his brother Lloyd was Little Poison. Let's see if they say that on the back or not. Those were their nicknames. And uh, yeah, if Paul was as I recall, the superior player. I think Lloyd got into the Hall of Fame. Paul's in the Hall of Fame, and very deservingly so. I think Lloyd got into the Hall of Fame because Paul was, at the time, on the Veterans Committee. And they, you know, of course, pick, as the name would suggest, veterans. And uh, Paul and Lloyd were very well-liked players. They, they were uh, good teammates and all of that. And I think Paul probably campaigned pretty hard for his brother to get in. And uh, so he did get voted in by the Veterans Committee back then. But, you know, um, I, I don't know. Some of, some of the choices that were made back in the 70s and whatnot, you have to kind of maybe relook at or investigate. I don't know. Anyway, Paul Wayner, nice card to start things off with there. Jim Gilliam from the Brooklyn Dodgers. A lot of legends in this one. Lou Boudreau from the Indians back then. Get that in focus. There we are. Beautiful uh, portrait. Well, not a portrait, but beautiful uh, picture of him. Certainly like that one a lot. Very cool cards. I like those luminance cards as well. And then we got two backwards cards here, including Ray Lankford on the Zenith template. And uh, that's, you know, really pretty template, too. I don't know if you've seen the Zenith cards or not, but uh, that's a really also a very thick card. You can kind of see there how thick that one is. Ray Langford, a good player for Cardinals. And then our third Revolution card is Mario Soto from the Reds. Uh, very pretty cards. Again, I wish I had gotten some players that I actually collect. The three I got are not guys that uh, are uh, players that I really collect, but uh, those are certainly pretty cards. I really like those. I may have to see who's on the Revolution uh, insert checklist, actually, because uh, I, you know, there are certain players that, you know, veteran players that I, I would actually really like to get in that format. So our last pack, see if we can get some last pack magic going here, because so far I don't think we have pulled much of anything that is going to uh, intimidate average Joe at all. I think He-Man is going to vanquish Skeletor, as he always did on the cartoon. So I really shouldn't be surprised about that. But uh, that seems to be what's going to happen today, unless we got something really great in here. Pee Wee Reese starts things off in the Classics template. Robin Ventura there. And uh, we got a really nice uh, Reds card of Joe Morgan. That's a pretty card. Uh, that is definitely a PC card for me. I like that one a lot. That's really quite nice. And that is in the Vertex that's the V there is for Vertex. That's the uh, template that they use for that. That's a really nice card. I'm going to set that aside because I will certainly uh, put that in the uh, in the collection. Jason Dominguez, also from New York, and this is on the Spectra Foil uh, template there. That's very pretty, actually, really nice. Looks like it should be called Whirlpool, but it's called Spectra. Very nice card. Also very thick card there as well. Put that over there. And Jimmy Rollins, we get to see him again. We pulled two Jimmy Rollins. That's in the Mosaic template, of course, one that's probably pretty familiar to all of you, because that's one that uh, I've opened on the channel before. And I'm trying to see where the uh, other Jimmy Rollins card is. There it is. So we got two Jimmy Rollins, for anyone who's a fan of that uh, Phillies player. Man, I mean, that was a fun rip, and I certainly enjoyed it. I'm happy with uh, several of these cards that I probably will put in the PC, but i got to say, I don't think we pulled anything that is going to uh, make Average Joe shake in his uh, He-Man boots by any means. If I miss something that you guys think is some awesome card or whatever, of course, please let me know. But uh, as far as I know, we didn't pull anything that is uh, numbered or, you know, anything like that. And uh, I suspect Joe will pull something 
like that, if not several things like that. That is how Joe operates, and that is why it's so much fun to battle against him, because I like to see the cool stuff that he pulls. If you haven't been over to Average Joe's channel, please check it out. He's a super friendly guy, knows the hobby really well, and he is always opening great stuff. He opens uh, a lot of modern product more than I do, and, and often finds really cool stuff at his local store. So, uh, Check him out if you haven't. I will be back tomorrow on Anything Can Happen Day, and I actually don't know what is going to happen tomorrow, so it's going to be something I decide in the next 24 hours or so, and uh, we'll see how that goes. And then Friday, of course, is Dorking with Dice, and that's something I always enjoy doing. Hopefully get my son, the pack opening machine, to do that with me. He enjoys them as well. I'll see you back here tomorrow for Anything Can Happen Day, and as always, thanks so much for coming out to the channel today. Really appreciate each and every one of you, and uh, as always, happy collecting.